A major ruling in the Biden administration's push to mandate vaccines for 17 million health care workers. A federal judge ruled in favor of a health care provider in Cincinnati that faced lawsuits from staff who don't want to get vaccinated. The requirement to get the shot comes as a, at a time when nurses are in short supply and some experts worry the rule could make the situation worse if some staff members quit. The ruling is considered to be the first of its kind and experts say it will likely set a precedent. Joining me now to discuss is Siobhan Hall. She is a nurse at the Cleveland Clinic working in the intensive care unit and she actually just received her license this summer. Siobhan, welcome. What a time to become a nurse. Yeah, <laughs> especially in the ICU. I can't imagine all the things you've seen. Yeah, I see a lot, but it's it's sad at times, but it's also an experience um, and it makes you feel good knowing that you're helping people. Yeah, definitely a, a rewarding experience. You all are, are heroes who everyone is so grateful for. So I know you chose to get vaccinated. What are you hearing from your colleagues who are resistant? <sighs> Uh, they're not too happy, especially about the mandate. Um, and I, I agree if I wasn't vaccinated and if I didn't want to get vaccinated, I, I would be upset too. Just having to be forced to do something that you don't want to do, you know, working through this pandemic, a lot of them, you know, made it, they never caught COVID and they're wondering like, why do we have to get mandated to get a vaccine. But doesn't doesn't that go against public health guidance? I mean, doctors, public health officials, everyone is saying that in order to, to end this pandemic, we need to get vaccinated, you know, and, and we're trying to set an example and get the public vaccinated, right? So if, if nurses aren't getting vaccinated, what kind of message does that send to everyone else? I really think it's their choice. You know, um, I worked, I did a vaccination clinic. I worked with a lot of nurses that aren't vaccinated and they are some of them were the best nurses I ever worked with. I just think it's your choice. I don't think that you should be forced to be vaccinated. It's not going to determine if they're going to care for you better or for worse. You know, it's just a choice. Right. But if you break your leg or something and end up in the in the hospital, you don't necessarily want to be exposed to COVID right from the healthcare workers. Yeah, but I also believe in if you just wear your mask and continue to wear that PPE. I mean, nurses got through it at the beginning of the pandemic. Why is it a difference that they're not getting vaccinated now? Yeah, but some did get infected also. You can see just why it's hard to understand how nurses who have firsthand know how, how COVID can kill people could oppose mm -hmm. getting a vaccine that's been shown in numerous studies to provide protection against hospitalization and, and death. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I chose to do it just because I want to protect myself. I want to protect my family and I want to be there on the front line taking care of the people who really need to be taken care of. And, so and of course, there's a, a question about, right, shouldn't shouldn't we do everything we can to protect patients and to protect each other, especially in a healthcare setting? Yeah, I agree. But like I said, at the same time, it is a choice. And I feel like no one should be mandated. Right. So so if these nurses uh, and there are a lot of them and some some reports say one in eight are, are refusing to get vaccinated. And if they face these mandates where they're not uh, able to not be vaccinated, where they're not able to refuse vaccination, will there be a crisis when it comes to to staffing in healthcare settings? Yeah, I believe there's already a crisis. I believe that it's been a crisis. It's always been a, a nursing shortage. And I feel like this is just gonna make things a little worse because, you know, it it's something that's being forced on nurses. And I don't agree with it, but I mean, what can we do? All right, well, Siobhan, thank you for, for joining us tonight and thank you for all the work you do. Thank you, thank you for having me.